Our devotion is from Genesis chapter 9, verse 12 through 16. And it reads, And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. And I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature in all the flesh that is upon the earth. Now, this is interesting because um, the modern trend is to wonder whether Noah existed, whether the ark existed, uh, and it puts into question things like this, like this, this covenant. But I have actually touched a piece of wood from the ark. Now, this is not a hoax. Uh, my professor at seminary, John Warwick Montgomery, wrote a book on the uh, the Ark of Noah. And uh, he interviewed one of the explorers, a man by the name of Ferdinand from France, that had traveled to Mount Ararat in Turkey and had brought back a piece of wood uh, from over 10,000 feet. Now that's important because it's above the tree line. There is no reason for any wood to be above the tree line. And he let us touch. I touched a piece of the ark. And it was made of acacia wood. And it had resin on it. The ark existed. Noah existed. The flood existed. Now the details of that need to be fleshed out. But nonetheless, we have a very definite a uh, historical event that took place that produced rainbows. And here we have the covenant that God made. Now notice that the covenant was made to the people and to all of creation. It's a very broad covenant and it is for all time. It is for all time. And it continues in our day. Now, a covenant has two parties. It has God, in this case, and it has all of creation, including us. Now, as I researched the, the covenant, the scholars say that one party of the covenant has to do something. That is the extent. And the interesting thing is that in that scripture, it says he put his bow in the clouds. And it actually uses the, the term bow, like in bow and arrow. And the bow is pointed in an arc that points up into the heavens to God. God is the one that has to do something. And what he has promised to do is not destroy the earth again by water. We have that promise from God. Now, whenever we see a rainbow, we must remember this is a sign of our faithful God who has promised, who has made a covenant. And he is faithful. Now, this is particularly interesting in this time because you cannot go to Mount Ararat uh, because for the last 80 years, it has been a very troubled place. Uh, they don't want you up there. The Russians don't want you up there. The Turks don't want you up there. And all kinds of other people don't want you up there. But if you were to go up there now, there would no longer be glaciers hiding the remnants of the ark. And you would probably find pieces of wood up above 10,000 feet. And uh, we would have more proof 
of the Ark of Noah. Interesting, eh? But we do have the rainbow, which is proof of the covenant between God and all of creation. Now, what we want to do now is, is to pray. So we thank you, O oh God, for your covenant. You are the covenant-keeping God, and you will take care of your people. Thank you that you are coming again to establish justice and peace on the earth, and we need it today like never before. Lord, we bless you, our God. Amen.